I'm Alshin Clark, I'm from uh, the Royal County here in County Mead and I, uh, I uh, am a dairy farmer. I uh, have uh, a herd of Norwegian Red Cross Frisian uh, milking around 75 day cows. I just, uh, it's all uh, milk and, and replacements I do. So I was in the market for a Kubota about uh, three, three years ago, a little longer three years ago and I went to the ploughing and I went to the cab machinery show and I went to Punchestown and a few other spots and I checked out different tractors here and there and uh, I came up with a Kubota, uh, came up with a, a nice package between finance and uh, the type of tractor I need around a farm. Like, um, the, the type of yard I have here is quite tight. So I was looking for something compact and a bit of power in it that would work a front end loader, because it's mostly front end loader work I'd be doing. A bit of slurry spreading, 2,000 gallon tanker, um, dung, bit of that, and fertilizer, of course. So, so that's what I was on the market for about uh, three years ago. So uh, that's where I did price around, and I came up, Kubota came up with a decent good price for the type of tractor. What I like about the tractor I bought was an M5111. Uh, it's 110 to 113 horsepower. Uh, it's very compact, and I love the, 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 the steering rack in it. Uh, it's quite tight, so I can turn that on a two-pence and in and out there, no hitting the pillars or that, and so it's quite good like that. The hydraulics I like as well. Kubota seems to be quite good on the hydraulics end because uh, they're used to diggers and all that, mini diggers and all that type of stuff, so the hydraulics is quite fast, and I found that good. Um, you know, so I, that's what I was looking for. I went for that, and uh, I was very impressed with it when I did get it, and uh, love it. I couldn't fault it. It's, it's brilliant. I love it. Pull a 2,000 gallon tanker, absolutely no problem. Uh, vision, another great job. The vision out the, um, the windows is excellent. So, uh, yeah, it's bog standard now in the sense that there's not a lot of electronics, which is there's not a lot that can go wrong with it. So it's a, quite a good uh, stockman's tractor. That's what I say about the Kubota. And oh, another thing that really swung it for me was uh, Clarks of Cavan, uh, who I purchased off, Darren, the sales rep down there. Um, they put on a, a, a kind of a, an open day below on it before I bought, and they had the uh, head box over from Japan, and uh, that kind of swung it, uh, like, you know, the, um, the technology and the backup service. And the, uh, the information to give us on that uh, meeting below, that open meeting, was, it was very interesting, you know, and they're quite big in America, they say, and I, I was in America myself there a couple of years back, and I did see a lot of Kubotas in it. You know, and to say it's the home of John Deere, but uh, maybe I'm not about to say that. <laughs> but uh, I've seen a lot of Kubotas in it. So uh, I can see where they're going. They're, they're getting bigger and they're going more into bigger tractors now. And so, yeah, I like them. That's me. So I, I, mean, I like them that much. I bought two. <laughs> this is my baby Kubota. I only bought this uh, uh, just... Uh, November gone there, um, I needed something tight around the yard. My sheds are quite low, so I needed something that would go in and out the sheds to scrape. I have no automatic scrapers, so uh, I used this for scraping the yards. A um, uh, bit of fertilizer as well. Uh, what else were you? Oh yeah, for uh, dung spreading. Hook this little baby into the dung spreader. The other tractor's loading, so no bother to her once she had the four-wheel drive and a few weights on the front. She'll pull at them, you know, and she's only around 60 to 66 horsepower, but uh, no bother to it. Uh, uh, really, oh Jesus, it's really handier than a 35, you know, around the yard. So, I uh, actually, my, my, my farm hand, <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> but anyway, that's this one. So that's all I have. I have only two at the moment, but maybe, you never know. Clarks are really good to me. <laughs> anyway, that's what this one does.
And my girls love me singing to them, so they do. <laughs>